Good day class, it's me again Sir Joseph and welcome to another episode of our educational blog. And today, we will discuss about electromagnetic induction. And before we proceed to our discussion, I would like to ask what are your takeaways from our previous discussion? That's great! And before we proceed to our discussion, let's have an activity and it's called crossword puzzle. I have here a set of words and you must identify what are the correct terms or point of our discussion today. And you have 20 seconds to find it. Good luck and take your time. And this is the correct answer. Electromagnetic, induction, and far a day law. Learning objectives. First, to know the different application of electromagnetic induction. Second, to be familiarized with different principles of electromagnetic induction. And third, to know the basic and different law in using electromagnetic induction. What is electromagnetic induction? Do you class have any idea about electromagnetic induction? Okay, electromagnetic induction is the definition of creation of voltage or an electromotive force across a conductor within a varying magnetic field. The principle of electromagnetic induction can be applied different application like transformers, inductors, etc. This is the foundation of all kinds of electric motors and generators which can be used for generating electricity from electricity motion. An application of electromagnetic induction include electrical components like transformers, inductors, as well as devices like generators and motors. What are the principles of electromagnetic induction? We have a two principles of electromagnetic induction. And the first one is Faraday law of electromagnetic. This is the process in which an electromotive force is induced in a closed circuit due to changes in the magnetic field around the circuit. And the second one is Lenz law state that the direction of the induced electromagnetic force and hence the induced current in a closed circuit is always such as to oppose the changes in magnetic flux producing it. And this is the example of Faraday law. And this is the example of Lenz law. What are the application and uses of electromagnetic induction? The first one is a very important application has to do with audio and video recording tapes. A plastic tape coated with iron oxide moves past recording head. Second, another application of induction is found on the magnetic stripe on the back of your personal credit card as used at the grocery store or the ATM machine. Third, another application of electromagnetic induction is when electrical signals need to be transmitted across a barrier. And last is another contemporary area of research in which electromagnetic induction is being successfully implemented and with substantial potential is transcranial magnetic simulation. And now that we successfully discussed the definition and uses of electromagnetic induction, let's have a short quiz. And for each question, you have 20 seconds to answer it. Good luck! Question number 1. It is the creation of voltage or an electromotive force across a conductor within a varying magnetic field. A. Series circuit B. Electromagnetic induction and C. Series parallel circuit
Time's up! The correct answer B. Electromagnetic induction. Question number 2. The application of electromagnetic induction include electrical components like A. Wires, bulb, magnet, and electrical tapes. B. Wire, magnet, as well as device like cell phones and generators. C. Ether, system, and machine. And D. Transformer, inductors, as well as device like generators and motors. Time's up! The answer are all of the above. Question number 3. It is the process in which an electromotive force is induced in a closed circuit due to changes in the magnetic field around the circuit. A. Lenz law B. Faraday law C. Ohm's law and D. Paras law Time's up! The correct answer is Paraday Law. Question number 4. Electromagnetic induction is found on the magnetic stripe on the back of your personal credit card as you use at grocery store or the ATM machine. True or false? Time's up. The correct answer is true. Question number 5. Another application of electromagnetic induction is when electrical signal need to be transmitted across a barrier. True or false? Time's up, the correct answer is true. And for our assignment, search the different example electromagnetic induction and put pictures and explanation. Thank you so much for watching our video. And I hope that you learned something from us. And also don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share our channel.